I'm uh, Martin Gertis. I'm uh, from uh, New York Institute of Technology in Long Island, New York. I've been looking at thyroid dysfunction and heart failure for quite a number of years, and the longer I look at it, the more interesting it gets. Uh, it appears that the heart makes itself hypothyroid with heart diseases. That seems to be ubiquitous, at least from our animal studies. And many clinical studies, probably about 10 or 15 just in the last three years alone, have shown a strong link between low thyroid function and uh, heart failure, uh, worsening heart failure. <clears throat> so one of the, the questions um, that has, uh, one of the issues that, that has surfaced the last few years uh, is that it, it seems apparent that, that uh, clinicians in general believe that there may be no therapeutic window for treating heart patients with thyroid hormones. Uh, you can really gleam this um, uh, assumption if you just simply look at the thyroid analog researchers. Now, of course, these are expert, experts in thyroid um, research, and they generally have statements that indicate that thyroid hormones are too dangerous and they need analogs to, to, to treat uh, heart failure patients. I think one of the problems, too, is that we, we tend to look at, at thyroid hormone treatment as a stimulus of the heart, and what we're really finding is that we really should be looking at it as just restoration of normal thyroid homeostasis. And of course, thyroid hormones regulate so many things in the cardiovascular system. So what I decided to do the last few years to, to really understand if indeed this is true, that, there, that there's no therapeutic window. Uh, so we've been looking at multiple animal models of heart failure and treating them with very, very low doses of thyroid hormones, of T3. And in each case, we also measured the cardiac tissue T3 levels and found that all of these animal models had a hypothyroid heart, even in some cases uh, when the serum levels of thyroid hormones are normal. Uh, so we, we treated these animals uh, for at least uh, two months or longer, in one case a year, uh, with a low dose of T3. It's such a low dose that it didn't even raise the serum levels of T3 unless the animals were hypothyroid to begin with uh, based on serum. And in every case, we saw dramatic improvements in cardiac function, uh, reversal of many of the genes that uh, are, are implicated in heart failure, uh, improvement in microcirculation. Uh, in the case of diabetic cardiomyopathy, uh, the animals had uh, normal serum thyroid levels but a hypothyroid heart. And when we treated them with a low dose of T3 that didn't even raise the serum levels, it eliminated all the heart disease. They had no heart disease. Period. I mean, they still had diabetes, but they had no heart disease. Every every parameter we looked at, we saw similar improvements uh, with myocardial infarction uh, and long-standing hypertension. So what we found here, with the with the over with all of these studies combined and some additional uh, experiments that we did uh, trying to find a therapeutic window, we found that a dose uh, oral dose of T3 in rats from three to eight micrograms per kilogram per day. Uh, in the drinking water was uh, a very safe uh, therapeutic window. Above eight, you start to see an increase in heart rate and heart weight, but below that, everything looks fine. We generally use about five in our animal studies now. And it's a very safe dose. It doesn't stimulate heart rate or heart weight increase, and we see dramatic improvements in, in these animals. Now, this may sound like a high dose. Uh, it's because we give it with the drinking water. Normally, you take thyroid hormones on an empty stomach. So they're eating and drinking ad lib, but this is an effective dose that works. So we don't know what the effective dose would be in humans, but uh, at least we have shown very clearly that there is a safe treatment window uh, where you can get maximum benefits without even significantly elevating thyroid hormone levels in the blood. Uh, if they're not if they're not below normal already